Hi friends, happy Friday. Well, today we are back down in the basement adding touches of fall here and there. And you guys, it's been a super crazy, busy, 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 busy. Can you tell it was busy week over here? And um, so last night I started filming a little clip down here. I didn't finish it. So what I'm gonna do is once I stop talking, I'm gonna morph to yesterday's clip, which was Thursday. It'll say tape Thursday. That's where we're gonna start. And then once that clip finishes, we will pick up where I left off and we'll be decorating what you see behind me. And then moving over to another section of the basement. We've got a little teeny tiny hall and uh, that, that will wrap up the video. So anyway, uh, before I go and share yesterday's video, I just got myself showered and cleaned up. It is literally real time Friday morning. It is crunch time. I got to get this video out for you. So I got to move quickly. And uh, I was upstairs wiping down my kitchen countertops because I made chicken the other night. I made the best chicken and dumpling soup you've ever had. My kids said it almost tasted like a deconstructed pot pie. And it did. It was, it was mwah. So good, so good, you guys. Anyway, I had, I did work with chicken, but I always, I'm like really anal about, pardon my French, about bacteria and my countertop. So I sprayed my countertop down again with Clorox bleach this morning, and I accidentally touched the top of the countertop. Look what it did to my shirt. Yep, can you believe, can you believe? And how tacky that I'm not changing my shirt. I mean, I've got to get this video out for you guys. So. Anyway, if you guys see this, that's what it is, Clorox bleach. I mean, really, how tacky, how tacky, Liz. On to the video. Let's go. Well, today we're back down in the basement and we're gonna be working on some different areas. Now, this morning I ran over to Ross and the Dollar Tree and well, let's get into the video, shall we? I'm so tired, I'm so ready for it to be Saturday. And I don't want to fizzle before I even get started. So let's do this. Let's decorate. So guys, as I stated, I'm going to be adding um, more Tuscan to my farmhouse and merging the two. So you can see right back here, I've got two candle sconces that I just recently added. And they had the most beautiful crackled glass like cylinders around them in an amber color. They broke. I'm so devastated. And I had one of these, but I lost the other one in the move. So if this happens to you, run to the Dollar Tree. So just so you know, this is how it is supposed to look on a sconce, right? Right, but I only have one, so it will not work. So what did I do? I ran to the Dollar Tree and you can see I picked up one of these. It's almost identical in size. And so I thought, well, I could use it right in here. Let's put another one in. We're back in business, people. We are back in business. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, I purchased these from Kirkland's. So if I wanted to replace the whole thing, just so I could get the crackled amber glass back. I don't know what it would cost me, but it would be expensive. And for $2, I've got a whole new set of, set of candle sconces. Score! So, do you guys see these two pieces right here? I got those from Ross. Um, I don't know, a couple years ago, and I love them. And I've got a farmhouse, like, it's like a sofa table that I made, and I, I've been over this before. I just put it here because I didn't have any big furniture piece to go on this wall. And it's big, it's long, it's substantial, so, and it's gray, so it matches these. So anyway, I'm gonna add texture to this piece uh, uh, you see right here. And you can see that I've got a screw right there, and I'm gonna hang this wreath. Uh, by the way, I got this at Walmart.
pretty. Love it. You see, I didn't have a curtain clip on that one, so that was a little harder to hang. But I'm just telling you guys, those curtain clips give you more wiggle room and they're lifesavers. Trust me on that. Guess what I ordered, guys, on Amazon? I ordered another package of my LED flickering candles that I love so much. This is the remote. And these are the candles and they come nicely packaged. And then you just pop your batteries right in here. Boom. And you can see right there, when you put glass around it, it really looks like a real candle. I am the hugest fan of these. I, I seriously am in love with these candles. I'm literally replacing all my regular candles with these. So it comes with this little remote and there's a little tab right here. You just pull it right out. And if I want to turn the candle off, there's an off button. How cool is that? I'm telling you guys, love, love, love. Here's the other one. Dawn. I also forgot to mention these, this, this one I'm going to link in my description box below comes with two remotes. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, you get 12 candles. So if you want, you can have a remote for that set and a remote for that set. Pretty cool. We have a little issue. We do. I just noticed this. These candles do not, they're, they're too wide for the base of this. So maybe what I'm going to do is run upstairs and I'm going to get some pumpkin filler. I'll put the pumpkin filler down below and then these can sit up a little bit higher. And that might give it a really pretty autumn look. Pumpkin filler. I'm going to put some in the jar. Put the candle on top. Problem solved. All right, guys, picking up where I left off, as I stated, this is a uh, farmhouse table that yours truly made several years ago. It's, uh, it's tall, it's long, and you can decorate the top and the bottom. That was kind of my goal. It was like something I had seen online and I tried to copy it. Um, but anyway, we're gonna keep this rather simple. So let's see, where should we start? Well, I've added this lantern over here. And it's just got a candle and pit berries in it. I ran and got two pit berry wreaths, but I didn't like the way it was looking on the table. So I thought rather than adding lots and lots and lots of stuff and having lots of pops of color, I kind of want the, the wreath to be the focal point. So anyway, let's get started. Let's add stuff. So to start, I've got, since I'm keeping it kind of farmhouse and Tuscan, and yes, you can merge the two. Of course you can do whatever you want. But that's, this is what I like and this is what I'm doing. So anyway, I've got this cute little rooster here and then I've got a pre-made bow that I got from Walmart. I'm literally just gonna stick the rooster here. And then I'm just taking my bow, I'm gonna give it a little fluff real quickly. I don't even have anything to tie it on. I don't know what I did with this bow last year, but there's there's nothing to tie it on with. So I'm just gonna sit it right here at the rooster's feet, just to add that little splash of color here. And done. So guys, when I was at the Dollar Tree yesterday, I picked up a whole bunch of these uh, plate holders. And they had them in like the gold looking color or brass, I don't know what you call it, but and black. And I went with the black. And then I've got this cute sign that says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And I wanna add a pop of black over here for like Halloween and all that good stuff. 
So I'm just gonna put that here. Like that. Let's see, what else should we add? Since we added a pop of black there, I ran into my storage room and got Mr. Pumpkinhead. Isn't he funny? I got this at TJ Maxx for $12.99 years ago. Years ago. When the kids, I think, were little, actually. I've had it, him for a long time. But anyway, I'm going to set him here. And uh, what else can I add? So I've got this like candle holder, Tuscan style kind of candle holder and, and a pumpkin. I'm simply gonna set it on the candle holder like that and probably set it right here. Just like that. To that, what should I add? Oh, I know. I will add another Tuscan kind of candle holder and a twig pumpkin with some pit berries. I put some pit berries at the top. And um, let's see, because I have height over there with the lantern, I'm gonna add some height over here to balance it out. Let's see here. And now we need some fall leaves. I just ran into my storage room fall leaves, Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna set them right here. Just like that, and I'm done. So because I added fall leaves there, I'm gonna add some over there by the lantern. You gotta play with these things. Otherwise, it just doesn't look right. So sometimes it may require a little fluff here and a fluff there and a tweak here and a tweak there. But um, anyway, I think that's cute. It kind of fills in that bare space. All right, guys, like I said, this is a very long table. And this, this, I actually built this because I wanted it to go on the back side of our super, super long sectional that is down here in the basement. But once we got down here, I didn't have anything to go on this wall. So I ended up putting it here and not putting it behind the sectional. Anyway, what was I gonna tell you? Oh, it's dark down here right now. Cause like I said, it's early morning and I've got my big bright white light on it. So it's not looking as cute as it does in person, um, but it is really cute. It is a focal point wall. So I think I can get away with adding more stuff to the top of it, but it's cute. Okay guys, I'm in the section of the theater. I've got subwoofers and audio equipment. Y'all know how much I hate this stuff. I love it. I'm an audiophile myself, but I hate, oh, I would have done it differently. Let's just say that, let's just say that. Aesthetically, it's not pretty. It's not pretty, you can see it. a speaker. I've got a huge sub subwoofer right here, but let's ignore it. Let's just ignore it. Um, anyway, this is right next to our sectional and I've got a cute little site. Like I said, this is a mix of Tuscan and farmhouse in this basement. So I have a cute sign that says our happy place. Got that at home goods and I've got a cute little table. I got it at home and a little farmhouse lamp. I don't know where I got that. Anyway, I was scrounging around in my basement storage room and I found these letters I made 
a couple years ago. I ran to Walmart. Um, I went in their craft section and you can get letters. They're super duper cheap. And I just spray painted them black. I don't know why. I just thought it'd be fun to do this. Hey, stay with me. All right, so I don't know why. I just wanna do this. I'm gonna put fall up here. It's kind of acting as a little shelf. Fall, our happy place. It's true. All right, now let's start decorating this table. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this, put this up higher, and point you down. All right, so I ran in my storage room and I got two book boxes. One says London, one says Fleur de Lis, and I'm gonna put them like this, right here. I'm adding height to that. I have two candle holders that I identical that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to put one here with an orange candle. And then I'm going to set this one. You know what? I might do this. And now I'm going to add some greenery. Okay, so I've got two ferns. I think I got these either. At, yeah, probably Hobby Lobby. But I'm going to put one here. And then maybe one over here. That way it looks good from both sides. You know, if you're sitting over there, um, you get the greenery. If you're over here, you see the greenery. So anyway, that's what we have so far. Next up, I have a dough bowl, Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to just put it here standing straight up because I want to fill in the bare spots. Um, let's see, what am I going to do next? Oh, I have a happy harvest sign with a pumpkin, and I'm going to just set that right there. And the top part is now done. So we have this and that. Now let's work on the next shelf. Now the next shelf, I've got some pretzels. I mean, this is a basement, it's a hangout spot. So sometimes I like to have little snacks down here for the kids. And so I'm gonna put this right here in the corner. Like that. To that. I am going to add this little arrangement that I got from Ross last year. And um, I'm just gonna put this right, let's see. Maybe I'll do this. No, no, no. I'll do this, this, and then I have a sign that says Happy Fall. And I got this from Hobby Lobby last year. And I'm just gonna set that there. Okay, let's do the bottom shelf. Now on the bottom shelf, I've got this pot with this little arrangement on the inside of it. I'm gonna set this here. And then I had this on here for summer, but I'm gonna put this just behind there just to add a little height. And then I've got another sign. It says, warm autumn welcome. Yeah, that's what it says. And I'm just going to set that right there. So see, the grass just acts as a backdrop. But anyway, that'll do it for this area. Anyway, this is how this little area looks here in the basement. Excuse the cord. I'll have to fix that. But anyway, I'm just trying to get this out fast. Fall, our happy place.
simple but cute. You know those wreaths that I used in my displays on Wednesday here in the basement? I'm such a knucklehead. I got those wreaths kind of late in the game last year and I forgot where I used them. But then it dawned on me just yesterday, Liz, hello, you just used your front door wreaths for those displays. Cause I was like, these wreaths are so pretty. Where did I get those? And I didn't remember them from last year cause they were on the front door. I never come in the front door. So kind of like out of sight, out of mind. I forgot where, where I had used them last year. So it dawned on me, what are you gonna put on the front door now? So this is where my little haul comes in. So guys, I was like, I am not going to Hobby Lobby to spend a fortune on two gorgeous fall wreaths for a month. I'm not doing it, nope. So I decided to go to Ross. I know that Ross usually has beautiful wreaths, substantial in size for a lot less money. So I went there yesterday and for $21, and 99 cents, I got two identical wreaths. And look how pretty they are. So, I got two of them. These are gonna be my front door wreaths. Problem solved, problem solved. So guys, when I was at Ross yesterday, I walked past their pillow section and I went, oh, I have to have that pillow. It's nothing special, but I thought it was cute. And I wanted a pop of orange here on my big sectional. And um, anyway, I came across this pillow. Hello. And it was only $9.99. Do you know what this would have cost at Home Goods? Probably anywhere from $19.99 to $29.99. This was a huge score. And it's got nice trim around the side. And it's cute. It says blessed. It's also a down pillow. And y'all know how I like to karate chop my pillows. Score! So as I was browsing up and down the decor aisle, I came across this and thought it was really cute. This was only $12.99. It's a little like pedestal, like cake stand or whatever. And um, anyway, I thought it was cute. And then I came across this pumpkin. And this pumpkin, uh, it was only $11.99. And I, so I thought this would, and look at the detail on the top of it. Um, and I can put one of my LED flickering candles on there. But I thought I could do something fun with this. I don't know quite yet, but um, I have ideas for this. But I thought it was cute for farmhouse style. Or I could stick an orange candle in here if I could get it through here. So, hmm. Maybe not, I don't know if I can get a candle in here. It may just have to sit like this, but it's still a cute, it'd be cute for any display. Then I found this huge pumpkin. I have the uh, natural looking ones up in my home office, which I already shared with you guys. It does have a hole through here, so if I wanted to, I could stick an LED flickering candle in here, I don't know that, the other one was more open, I think. This one is a little more close, so I probably wouldn't do that. But um, anyway, I thought this was adorable and different and cute. And if I want, I do have some Pipberry garlands. I could make a bed of pops of, you know, burgundy and orange and yellow under, the, under this, and it would be a really cute display. Ah, the options are endless, but $14.99, I thought that was a good deal. It's very big. Also, too, I found Mr. Squirrel for $8.99 at Ross. Isn't he cute? So, this will be going somewhere down here in the basement in one of my displays, but I thought he was awfully cute. So we have a big ottoman where you can kick your feet up on over here when you're watching a movie. And sometimes it drives me nuts because I want to set a drink down or something. You can flip the ottoman top over and it's you can put cups. There's cup holders, like four cup holders. There's a place you could put a pizza box and munch on pizza down here. But we don't often do that. So anyway, I just, I found this big basket and it was only $7.99. And so I thought, score, 
I'll put that on top of my ottoman, kind of turn it catty corner and maybe do a cute little display on the ottoman. A lot of people have asked me to do coffee table displays, but I, I honest to God, I don't have any coffee tables around here except in my hubby's sound room. Um, but as far as my family room and basement goes, I don't. So anyway, I might do something with this. So I got that. And lastly, I found this decorative throw blanket. Again, it's a pop of orange because I'm going with the traditional colors. And let's see, what was this? This was only $12.99. And it's so soft. I can't wait to watch a movie down here and snuggle up to this blanket. So I thought that was a good deal. So guys, that was my haul, very small. Oh, and then I got some bittersweet florals from um, the Dollar Tree and some more of these glass cylinders, uh, just as extras in case I break one of those. And uh, yeah, so that's my haul. All right, my sweet friends, this is gonna wrap up my video. I know we didn't do an exorbitant amount of stuff today and I apologize for that, but I've got a busy, busy day ahead of me and I need to edit this and get it out to you. I will probably be on for maybe an hour or two after I post my video just to say hello and hi and thank you. And uh, for all my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I apologize for not saying welcome and hi. It's just been one of those crazy, crazy weeks. It's like, it just seems like every week it gets crazier and busier than the last. Welcome to high school, guys. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but anyway, I love you guys so much and I thank you for your love and your support and your wonderful comments. They go right here, right to my heart. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. When you come back next week, we'll be down here again in the basement because I've got two hutches to do, a mantle, uh, a ladder. I've got my hanging ladder. We're gonna be working on adding fall to a tablescape on the table over there and then another tabletop display. Uh, and then we'll decorate the ottoman and throw the throw blanket and new pillows on the couch, uh, the sectional, and then we'll do a tour. So we've got a lot to do next week. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye. See you Monday.